Howdy, folks. Mr. Dell here. We are looking at interest, uh, specifically simple interest and compound interest. So I'm taking these questions, a couple of these questions from uh, CPM's course three. And this is one of those parent guides, specifically that the parent guide about so chapter eight, parent guide, simple and compound interest. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to look at number four and number 10. So number four says, Javier's parents set an amount of money aside when he was born. They earned 4.5% simple interest on that money each year. When Javier was 15, the account had a total of $1,012.50 interest paid. How much did Javier's parents set aside when he was born? So simple interest. To find simple interest, you take your principal, that's your P, the amount of money you start with, and you multiply that by the R, which is in this case your rate, your interest rate, <clears throat> interest rate, right? That's the percentage. And then you also then multiply by T and T is the number of times applied. So if I have this as my total interest, then what I want to do is basically figure out what that T is. So I can, I can build an equation. I could say my total interest, $1,001.50 is equal to the principal, which we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out times the rate. Well, my rate is four and a half percent, but I've got to put it as a decimal 0 0.045. I don't want to, I don't, I can't use it as the percent. I have to always convert my percent to something I can multiply, which is as a decimal or fraction. And then 15. So it looks like he said it aside when he was born. So for 15 years, that's how many times it was applied. So that's the equation I solved, right? So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to get this P to figure out what that principle is, I'm going to divide both sides by this 0 0.045 times 15, right? Because that divides out, divides out. So I have to take that number and divide by 0 0.045 and by 15. So that, of course, we would do with a calculator. So let me get that going here. So we're going to say 1,112 and 50 cents divided by the product of 0 0.045 times 15. Enter. So there we go. So P is equal to 1,500. So that tells me that's the money that was originally set aside. That's the principle that we started with. Okay. So there's my answer. My answer in this case is $1,500 uh, was the principle. Okay. There's one answer for that one. There's, there's number four. And that's simple interest. <clears throat> so let's do one that has to do with compound interest. So we'll look at number 10. So compound interest is different. Compound interest right? Compound interest, what we do is we take the principal and we multiply it by one plus the interest rate all to the T. This is going to, this is going to find your, your total value at this point, not necessarily just the total interest, but this is the total value, right? And so we take our P, which is again, our principal. Oops. I can't see that principal. Our R is our interest rate, right? It's our percentage, our interest rate 
And then T is the number of times applied. Number of times applied. So if it's applied monthly for one year, so monthly for one year would be 12. T would be 12, right? 12 months in a year. Okay, so let's read this question. What do we have? Rona was listening to her parents talking about what a good deal compound interest was for a retirement account. She wondered how much money she would have if she invested $2,000 at age 20 at a 2.8% uh, annual interest compounded quarterly. Okay, so that's a little different. Not compounded annually, compounded quarterly, which means four times each year. Annually would be once a year. And left it in until she reached age 65. So determine what value the two thousand dollars would become. So for the the we're going to use our our interest formula here, our compound interest formula. So we're going to take the principal two thousand, and we're going to multiply it by one plus the interest rate, which is two point eight. So we write zero point zero two eight, right? Because we got to write it as a decimal, and that's to the t. So how many times is that compounded? Well, she put it in at twenty. She wants to know what it's going to be at age sixty five. So there's a 45 year time frame between 20 and 65, but it's compounded quarterly. So it's going to be this, this number here is going to be 45 times four, the 45 years times the four. So that's, what's going to go there, which 45 times four is 180. So that's the math that we have to do. So we'll do that on our calculator again. So in this case, it's 2000 times. Well, one plus that is just really 1.028. Okay? And then all of that to the, so your exponent key is that little hat key on your calculator. Uh, let's see if I can, there we go. This little hat key, that's your, that's your uh, exponent key. And that's all to the 180. Enter. So our answer to 8 eight two six four and to the nearest penny so we round up there so it'd be 15 so it's two hundred and eighty eight thousand two hundred sixty four dollars and fifteen cents so that's how much it'll be if we're dealing with 45 years four times a year compounded that's that's not a bad deal start with two thousand end up with two hundred eighty eight thousand two hundred sixty four dollars and fifteen cents all right there we go